So with this morning's breaking news, let's bring in Mark Rosenker. He's a former chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board and a CBS News consultant. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Well, first, how, how encouraging are these reports out of China? Well, this is late breaking news, Anthony. This actually occurred at the end of the press conference when the Chinese ambassador handed a note to the minister to begin uh, showing that, in fact, that the Chinese may have found something. They've got photographs on a satellite which could show some additional debris. So we've <clears throat> seen all of the efforts focused on the South Indian Ocean, people saying that's the most inaccessible spot on the earth. Does this change anything in terms of the search now? Not really. This is exactly where they are searching. So this is good news. It could be that we are seeing some additional or potential debris. Unfortunately, the debris that, in fact, we were looking for from the Australian satellites may have drifted away. It could have even sunk, and then we may never find that well, part. Well, I mean, that highlights part of the problem here, that even if you, find, if you see something on a satellite image, it doesn't mean you're going to be able to get to it in time. Well, in this case, let's hope that what the Chinese have spotted on their satellites is fresh. The data that we were looking for was about four days old. So that really uh, gave us tremendous challenges to try to find it because of the drift and the currents. There's been a lot of talk about these drifting buoys. What are they? Well, they're buoys that, in fact, are marking places that they've been so that they don't have to go back. And ultimately, these are best used when, in fact, you find something so that you can begin marking it. And from that, do the applications necessary for the calculations to take a look at where the potential real primary debris site would be. Mark, we're, we're now into the third week of this search. How unusual is it that we haven't found at least some debris at this point? It's absolutely extraordinary, Anthony. Uh, I cannot remember any accident other than there was one, a, a general aviation accident that took us a year to find. It was Steve Fawcett, a very wealthy civilian aviator. He crashed. We had absolutely no inkling of where he was. And then later, by virtue of some weather that had pushed some of his, uh, his wallet and uh, some identification and some money uh, down onto a track where hikers were, that's where we were able to then search that site and we went up and found the actual debris site and solved the accident at that You know, point. even hearing that this is the most inaccessible water, even hearing that these currents are so strong, I think a lot of people are wondering about buoyancy, especially given that these plane wings were empty of fuel, seats, I mean, why hasn't anything really popped up in terms of what investigators believe? That is a very good question. We just don't know where to find these pieces because we, we just can't tell. These satellite images uh, are good points to look for. They're, right. they're good starting points. But we haven't been able to lay eyes on them. We haven't been able to touch them to be, be able to verify that what we have from those satellite photographs are actual pieces of the aircraft. We, and one point, Mark, you, when you presided over the, the search for the, for the Air France plane two years ago, which ended up being 2,000 feet under the Atlantic, I believe, if, if this plane is, is in this body of water, it could be 13,000 feet down. How does that complicate things? It complicates it a great deal. Now, I was there in the beginning. I was there when it first went down and when we first found the first five days. The Air so I, Yes, and I, and I was hoping that by virtue of having the first five days and finding that debris, it would be much easier. It turned out it took two years to actually find the boxes and then recover them. This is a very challenging part of the world to work in. The right. weather is unfortunately going to deteriorate as we come in toward the fall and winter set months. This is not going to be an easy search. So many thoughts with those family members. Mark Rosenker, thank you so much.